Good morning, and welcome to a damp and dismal allotment. Um, it's Friday, um, so that's good. Um, they reckon the weather's going to improve later on, so fingers crossed it does. But today, as I mentioned to you last time, this time of year, my thoughts and focus turn to the maintenance jobs I've got to do through the winter. Um, the foot comes up off the gas with regards to all the horticultural elements um, and it goes down and we start to look at the things I've got to do right through to the beginning of March to get the plot in tip top condition before we start growing again. Some people come down and come September you don't see them until the beginning of March. Um, now for me that's not how I roll. I like to stay on top. I don't like doing jobs two and three times over. So once I get it to a decent standard, I try and maintain that. So what I'm going to do this morning is just show you some of the jobs that I've got to do um, through the um, off season. And you'll see that it isn't all about putting your feet up. There's still quite a lot to do. So I'll take you around and show you. So first off, starting at the front, these Montbrecia, I've got them on both sides of the pergola there. Um, these really need dividing up because there's that many in there, it's really starting to get really packed out and that's affecting the show that we get. So that's one of the jobs, getting in there, digging those up and dividing them. And also taking out these two, two um, seedling trees that have popped up. Um, those need to come out because I think they're ash and I think they'll get a bit too big for the location. The other thing is I planted these two fruit trees that you can see here in the planters at the front of the plot and they've not really done that well they've suffered a little bit um, because remember I kept them in the containers um, and watering has been an issue. So those are going to come out and get moved. Okay, let's have a wander down and see what else is on the list. Uh, obviously, the net tunnel has got to be moved once the brassicas are out, so that's going to be a last job because I've got some overwintering stuff gone in there recently. And that's going to move onto this bed here. So, that's a job to get cracking with. Salad station's fine, nothing to do there. What I am going to try and do is increase the shrubs that I have down the sides. Um, I think I've got three on that side at the moment. Obviously I'll keep them pruned back so they don't get in the way of the paths, but I just want to break the sides up. I'm also going to hope to introduce some uh, climbing fruit on there. Um, and same again on this side as you can see I've got a buddleia growing there I'll keep that tight to the fence um, and as I say try and introduce some more shrubs along the fence with some fruit now some of these scaffold boards they've been down now I would say I think we've been here six years they've been down about five they are coming to the end of their lives so I'm going to start a a slow program of getting those replaced now, as you can see with this one it's only the top part that I'll need to take away you can see there how it's come away from the ends all I'm gonna do is break that off put another this post here is still quite firm so what I'm gonna do is just put a timber the same thickness as that into there and hopefully that'll do the job and I'll start doing that with all of them. Right, so the jobs are building up. So into the greenhouse. What I've got to do here is all these benches that I made from pallets. All I did was divide a pallet in half and stick some legs on it. All these have got to come out. They've got to be repainted. Um, and... 
that'll be a job for the wife because I can't stand painting if I've not told you that before. I've also got some fake grass at home that I picked up out of a skip um, and I'm going to completely cover the greenhouse floor with it because I do tend to get quite a lot of weed coming in um, and I think that'll help suppress that. So a painting job in there. Now this is my shed. Now when I built this five, six years ago, this was going to be a potting shed. As you can see, it's got the potting shed there. Um, and obviously a place to come and get out of the rain if it started. Um, what I'm gonna do now, this was built when I had one plot. But as you know, I've got a plot to the rear of this. Um, and I've also got a potting shed on there. So really, I don't need this to be a potting shed. So this bench is going to come out, which will gain me two scaffold boards. Um, and I'm going to just use this as a relaxing area where I can come and sit, have my brew, that sort of thing. Um, I'm hoping to persuade the daughters to come along and help me paint this, because it's never been painted. Just brighten it up a little bit. So another task to be done. Here we are at the coal frame. Now as you can see, all these little jobs, it's all wear and tear. As you can see there, the batons come away from the, um, the plastic. Um, the hinges have all bent. You can see that some of the timber underneath there has dropped away. So that all needs repairing. And it needs a, a repaint as well. The other thing I need to do on the small greenhouse is sort out the irrigation. As you can see here, I've got some breeze blocks and on, the, on there are some trailing tomatoes. But what I need to do is get online and get one of these sorted out to connect onto the end of the greenhouse. And what's going to happen is on those blocks there, I'm going to stand a water butt. Um, so I need to do that, and I also need to do that on both sides. As you can see there. I'll get that organised to drop into this butt here. Now as you can see here, we've got two main beds which that one there is where I put some of the dahlias and then you can just see beyond it some there as well and I've also got a bed here and at the back there what I'm intending doing is carrying this path on right the way through so this bed will move and all that and carrying the path on right the way through and beyond to that end splitting it into two so we've got one bed here one long bed here and a long bed there when you've got two plots you've really got to manage your time um, and I think by having smaller beds helps you do that so I'll do the same here I'll carry this path on right the way through all the way through as you can see to my timber uh, wood store so there'll be a bed on the right and a bed on the left and the path running down the center creating yet again two long narrow borders which I think I'll be able to manage better now the biggest task I've got to carry out um, in the winter is my wood store now as you can see it starts there, runs to there, then there's a gateway through the middle and it runs all the way across there. I'll take you through and show you it from the other side. Ooh, close your eyes, this is a bit of a mess down here at the minute. So there you have it, that's how it looks at this moment in time. Behind these timbers it's all full of logs, they're the logs for this season that I'll be burning over the winter. So, the intention's going to be 
to strip this down completely and then from here behind the compost bins is going to be the back of a new wood store and basically I'm going to create that by taking out these pallets moving them to here there'll be a post going the ground around here a post in the center or two posts in the center and one at the end and basically what I'll do is I'll drop the pallets over the top of those posts so the posts will go in between this gap here of the pallet and that will raise it up to being about about five foot high so up here somewhere um, so a line of pallets running that way and across the other side as well there and then I'll simply put a roof on the top of that and what it'll mean is when you're looking from the rear of the plot all you'll see there is the back of the wood store and the wood and the store will be facing into the plot and then what I'm going to do is create a little gate in there and then that leaves this area here free for composting utility that sort of thing there's some of my logs that I still haven't touched and my loading bay so as you can see um, coming into the autumn and the winter it's not a time to just sit back there's loads to do um, and that's on top of covering your beds getting the manure on the beds um, and all the other things that you have to do keeping an eye on the overwintering crops and such so whilst you are going into winter you know it is still a busy time but it's not as pressured um, as it is when you're leading up to the growing period when you've got things in the greenhouse you've got to pop them on you've got to move them out there's a little bit more pressure with that side of it I see this as a bit of a sabbatical take my foot off the gas relax and just make sure that I've got my list and I just work through that list don't jump off one job onto another without completing the last one because what you find then is you've got bits of jobs done that but none of them are complete so as I say I look forward to this time of year um, you know I do enjoy doing these bits and I have a bit, little, little bit more time just to sit down and have, have a cup of tea and relax so that's what I'm going to be doing this winter um, let me know what your jobs are and um, I hope that you're going to continue and watch and make sure that I keep up with that list. Anyway, that's it from me, guys. I'm going to shoot off. I've got a little bit to do today at home. Um, I will see you next time. Thank you very much for subscribing. Also, I've been above that 800 mark now for a full week. So thank you to those new subscribers. And as I say, any other, anybody else watching that haven't subscribed, if you do that, it'd be appreciated. Anyway, have a great weekend and a great week ahead. Until the next time, happy growing.